My name is uh, Shamila Naya Bedwell. I'm the Assistant Director General for the Natural Sciences Program at UNESCO, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, uh, based in Paris. UNESCO's mandate is building peace in the minds of men and women and sharing of this uh, important resource for humanity, which is water, is crucial to development and avoiding conflicts. Having a shared vision and water management policies at national level is crucial for sustainable development. So UNESCO is delighted to join in this particular initiative because we need sustainable access to water and we also need um, uh, proper water management strategies. And we believe that this particular initiative, the Water Changemaker Awards, will provide a holistic, multidisciplinary approach to water management and its access at national level to um, promote uh, prosperous and more fairer societies. We need to understand what are the threats today in the uncertain climate world and the uncertain uh, water world. And uh, these are the reasons why uh, we have produced with partners across the world the climate risk informed decision analysis. This new type of framework called the CREDA actually provides a framework to enable the water managers as well as the policy makers to assess the impact of climate change and also to plan uh, robust and adaptable um, uh, under deep uncertainty, these robust and um, flexible water management strategies. The decisions on water uh, involves a number of different uses um, and there's a lot of uncertainty related to this and it's not always easy. Uh, we also notice an increase in water stress from different sectors. Today, as we all speak, it's the stress of the health sector that needs increased access to water and sanitation. So the informed, climate-informed decision-making needs to involve the risk emphasis with the shared vision between all sectoral stakeholders and decision-makers to define these flexible solutions. But the water stress that we see right now and the increased water stress in the future will require quite tough decisions about how to allocate water resources, how much is needed, where, when, and why. We have seen um, across the world, uh, any experience on water management is worth being shared. Lessons learned and best practices across the world can be disseminated to inspire the youth and to inspire populations and policymakers across the world. Now, the water managers need to understand the different journeys that has been taken uh, on changing uh, behavior patterns, on understanding hydrological systems, on managing uh, the impacts to, uh, uh, of climate change on water. So collectively, we can promote sustainable water management. Well, I think um, the number of policies we have today on climate resilience are, are quite developed in silos. And we notice here that the impact of climate change uh, on water resources, the water stress that countries are facing, uh, linked also to the pandemic, is putting them in a very difficult situation to contain the pandemic. And hence, the water resilience and climate resilience need to be looked at from the, from the same lens. So despite the challenges and constraints that countries are currently facing due to the pandemic, the demand for safe water resources continues and is quite increased today due to the pandemic. Uh, 